think it's more than a film. It's more of a journey. When I first started like, coming to see the think about as a how it's going to end, how it's going to play out in the world. You have to just sort of anticipate it's going to be a good end. But as you begin to watch and go on this, this spiritual journey, you allow yourself to just transcend the community and come in that way. Can you imagine? How did it make you feel? You know, like I said, it really goes to how fun and playful that you know you have the devastations and tragedies that happen and that little tear jerking moments and you know, then you have the, everything seems to be better than the tree you know, goes to the tree and falls and that night you back again from the side for this person. Now you see the triumph that comes from the tragedy from that. So it's a good emotional roller coaster. And how does this film affect or inspire you? Just an experience. Actually, just in that way by going through that emotional journey. And it inspires you to, to know that that tragedy can come from triumph and come from tragedy. So, Why do you think we need a film like this? We need a film like this because it's uh, <laughs> it's uh, I won't say it's same two things, but it is very much heartwarming. It's a good film. But the message behind it with Faith base to really for those who don't really believe in God feel like they're losing their faith. And because it is based on a true story, it is a true story, it shows you that something is only explained that God has control. Whether or not someone does die, like I want to put it for people out there, but the other girl who did pass. So there are things that are going to happen that, that God's not going to bless us with. Um, bless us with. So, um, but still, they have their faith. So, so, yeah, so we should go out because of that. So, what would you tell a friend about the film? Uh, I've already been texting, already as it is. Um, that it's, it's a really, it's a really beyond a good film. Right. So, because it's a good journey, and it's something that's good for the family, good for anybody. So, so, who really needs to go see this film? Who really needs to see it is atheists. You know, anyone who really doesn't believe in God whatsoever, like I said, who are losing their faith, because if you allow yourself to try to believe and understand that this is true, I mean, this, this is really did happen. You just talk to these people, when you this little girl who's living now, it's still, when it's still, okay, people still, are atheists don't believe in God, but how would you explain it? So, we, people who are Christians, or people who do believe in God, believe in the spirit, spiritual realm, it's entertaining for us, it's a good journey for us. But for those who don't believe at all, we need to see this, we can hear these testimonies and hear these stories. I see. What about miracles from heaven will stay with you? Just to know that, that, that it's true. And, and so it's good just to see and hear testimonies. People talk when you go to church, they talk about how God has blessed me a lot. They talk about how God has blessed me and various different things. But when you see something so traumatic, it's so unexplainable to be completely cured. So for this girl to, it reminds me of, uh, remember back uh, Oh God with George Burns, that movie which trying to get everybody to, 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 to know about God. So, and of course that was a fictitious movie but it puts you in that same frame of maybe more aware of who God is and, and to uh, appreciate God. How would you sum it up in one word? Bless me. And then finally, um, do you believe in miracles? I absolutely do believe in miracles. And as a matter of fact, my grandmother, who turned 100 July, um, July 20th of this um, so last year, a uh, miracle that's very, very strong, faith based. And to be 100 years old is a miracle within itself. You know, so, yeah. Great. Thanks yeah. so much.